Hello and welcome to the August Energies Podcast. I do this once a month. If you don't know me, I'm Tamara Childs. I am a professional intuitive and help people edit the movies in their minds so they have a happy ending. Is that you? Do you need to live a life you love just a little bit more with a little bit more intention? The August Energies, we start out at the beginning of the month, just right, right the evening of the 31st, with a brand new moon in Leo. And this is such good news, because Leo is ruled by the sun, and it's this, the sun is consciousness. And it is this light inside of us that sometimes, you know, you feel like the dimmer switch gets turned down and you don't even know how you got so low. And that may explain how you're feeling coming into August. You know, July was a little bit of a a tough month. The last couple of months have been uh, very challenging. They've been oppositional. Uh, There's been a lot of tension going on astrologically and we've all been feeling it everybody feels it in slightly different ways but that oppositional energy was really hard to miss moving into august we have this bright new beginning with this new moon in leo and it's uh right here right on the first the 31st or early early hours of the first and this brings us um, the opportunity to be creative. What is a new moon good for? A new moon is a time when uh, we have this purification moment between the moon and the sun where we get to, it's like this uh, very potent seed planting moment. And we are planting the seeds for the area of your chart that Leo rules, if you know your chart at all, you can look uh, for eight degrees of Leo. And that is going to be the place where you're going to feel this rush of um, positive, new, intentional energy. It's this creative urge, this urge to create something new with the light of your consciousness, which is you. And this is a very creative energy. Leo is fixed fire. It is the energy of the sun. What does the sun do? It shines so things can grow. And the things that want to grow are seeds within you. So wherever you have eight degrees of Leo, it's going to be a place where you're going to feel this rejuvenation and this sense of light and energy coming in into your life as something so you want to think about what would you like to create what would bring you joy leo rules the fifth house and joy childlike enthusiasm um moving in the directions that bring your heart alive it's all about the energy of the heart it's all about that life force that pumping energy through the heart So this is a very life-affirming, very you-affirming energy. And so I'm really excited to talk about it coming into August because, you know, we really need this after this oppositional stuff that we've been going through. And, um, you know, we're not done with that oppositional stuff, but right now we have this bright moment coming in to August. So you want to look for what lights you up, what have you been wanting to do that lights you up? What kind of gives you tingles? What's exciting for you? It's going to be, it's something that you feel enthusiastic about because this is fire energy, baby. We want to feel the fire. We want to let the, the fire burn right now because uh, this is a creative fire. So just think of it that way. Um, now, I drew some cards For us, uh, this is, of course, a general reading, and there are places where you can get much more detailed daily astrological stuff, but that's not what I do for these podcasts. What I'm doing is an overview. We're going to look at sort of the cosmic weather 
and how that connects in with where we've been, what we might want to do, how we might want to use this energy for our joy and our happiness and to live a life we love. So the cards that I got um, are the Nine of Wands. It's a fire card. The Nine of Wands, it, it, it really made sense to me when I drew this thing because a lot of us are feeling... I wouldn't say the word is wary. We are feeling tired. We're feeling drained after what's been going on through June and July and the eclipse cycle. And having this new moon closes that out. It closes out what we went through. And it's like a brand new fresh start and a bright new beginning. It's like the, it's like the sun rising. When you see the sunrise after a really turbulent night where you were up and tossing and turning and then you realize everything's going to be okay, that's the energy that I see in August for us. But we're starting out with this um, Nine of Wands, which is a card of being battle weary. It's a card of um, maybe feeling a little defensive like you've had to be strong or you've you've been feeling drained and exhausted that's just something that i get psychically uh, generally for a lot of people is that there's this feeling of fatigue soul fatigue like i just can't go through any more of these battles right now and you i don't think you're going to have to uh, august is a really beautiful time to open up to the things that maybe you felt back in january were going to be exciting for you or even um last um, November, December, January, things you were excited about that then went dormant. And one of the reasons for this is that we do have the planet Jupiter, which is this uh, wonderful expansion planet um, going direct on the 11th also. And this makes a really nice connection with the sun in Leo. So it is smooth sailing and it's this feeling of like lifting the blinds off the windows and letting the sunlight in suddenly you can see the possibilities again and you can feel them rising up in you and this is going to be coming through august for us we're going to be feeling this rising of feelings of um uh, optimism a feeling of optimism coming back after the heaviness last month i'm also getting the strength card the strength card um typically shows a woman um who is taming a very uh a lion and she is managing to somehow she's got her hands on it on its jaws not in the deck that I have right now but um she's harnessing uh through gentleness and strength inner strength and patience and the harnessing of she's harnessing her wilder instincts she's hi- harnessing her addictive tendencies um one of the things that we can get addicted to in life is our negativity when we get addicted to anything whether it's drugs alcohol negativity and sometimes we'll switch one for the other, like I gave up sugar, but here I am addicted to my negativity, right? So the strength card is telling me that we need to, re- that we have it within our capacity right now to really harness and take control over these urges that are not for our highest good. And so any addiction, any addictive tendencies, and especially that negative thinking, are places that steal our joy. And they steal our energy. They divert it away. Any addictive energy will steal your energy and drag, dra- suck it down. So you want to really, really understand that it's within your scope this month to notice where you get addicted and where you have those lower urges or the urge to lash out. Sometimes we're just addicted to anger, right? Anger can be an addiction or just thinking a certain way or feeling like we want to snarl at somebody. And so this is a time to really use this potent, beautiful sun energy and the Jupiter um, to, to harness a higher impulse, to harness a higher aspiration, to harness potential instead of negative addiction. 
So that's a really important card I feel like we got. I also got the Knight of Wands. And this is, um, in this deck, it's, it's a beautiful, like, turquoise blue background. And it's a knight riding a seahorse kind of in the sea. It's really, really creative. Um, this, one of the ways we're going to get out of this feeling of like um, having our backs up and defensiveness and tired and exhausted and into negative stuff is by accepting the joyful invitations that can come to us this month. We may find this through friend circles, um, social invitations, the opportunity to go listen to music or do a piece of art. Sometimes you want to, if you have a troubled thought or feeling, you can turn it into a piece of art and it becomes something externalized and beautiful, you know, instead of something that eats you alive on the inside. So this is a, a creative, an invitation to be creative and in a joyful, emotional space. So whatever you can do this month to accept those invitations as they're offered or even look for them. Just say, what can I see around myself that's a joyful invitation? I'm also getting a couple of interesting other cards. There's a card, um, the five of coins. And this is a card of perceived deprivation. This is a little work in progress deal that we're doing in August. Where have you seen yourself as the outsider, not ever having enough, coming up short, you know, having a, you know, holes in your t-shirt, so to speak, or just, it's mostly what I'm getting with this is that this is a misperception that we need to correct this month to feel the incredible abundance that we have, not only in our internal resources, but also in the world around us to open your eyes. And, and, you know, if you start to get into that negative Nelly space where you just want to complain, um, or you, you're, you're down on yourself again, really catch that pattern. That goes with the strength card too. That's a negative addiction sometimes when we just want to, you know, uh, chew ourselves, you know, chew on ourselves and uh, give ourselves a hard time. Never let ourselves rise because this month you are meant to rise in life. So again, be aware of where you are doing an outsider motif and intentionally rewrite that script, okay? And go into that you are an inside, you're, it's, you're on the inside of whatever you want to be part of. You're an insider, not an outsider. And part of that is allowing yourself to really find your kingdom, or your queendom. You know, this is so appropriate for a month where we have the sun in Leo. It's all about royalty. And if you were a royal, let's pretend you are right now, um, what would your kingdom or queendom look like? What would your empire look like? How would you arrange the other people in your kingdom or queendom? How would you get support? How would you feel surrounded by love? How would you feel safe? How would you feel secure? These are important questions this month. It's almost like uh, I'm getting the the guidance that we need to create an interior space right now that is our our palace of of possibility. You know, what is our palace of possibility right now? Um, Because this is a really bright window that we have for August energy, and I really want you to use it to your benefit. And you can take a deep breath and let go of what happened last month. You really can. And really let yourself enjoy, let yourself dream possibilities right now. Because um, there's some concrete energy in this reading as well that I feel like we're really, many of the things that you dream can become concrete. So that's a fabulous, fabulous part of the reading. Um, I'm also getting the Seven of Swords. Now, ooh, the Seven of Swords is sometimes a shady character. Uh, you know, it's a guy who's uh, running off with some swords that he's absconded with. And, um, you know, he's looking a little shady and a little guilty. And how I want you to look at this for this month is, where have you either allowed something to be taken from you? It can be your self-esteem. It can be an, an energy of joy, because we're talking about Leo and joy. Where have you allowed something to suck you dry or steal from you 
where have you allowed a part of yourself or a subpersonality to steal from you? In other words, um, take up space in your your mind and in your emotional real estate. And, and like, you know, if you've got a tenant in there that just is a negative, you know, grump and somebody who makes you feel bad or is always finding a reason to not let you really thrive and just feel the innocence and sweetness that is you when you're in having a feeling of joy. It might be time to put a an eviction notice. Now I'm using metaphor and this could be literal as well. It could be that um, this month you may be cleaning up what I get is cleaning up your sphere, your relationship sphere, actually, and that it might be time to look at where there are folks around you that are somehow, um, I don't want to use the word vampire, but where they're stealing, they're sucking you dry a little bit, you know, it's like you come in feeling good and, and they, they say one comment and, and it just doesn't feel good to you. This is a time to clear the decks and invite in a higher level of energy in the people that you have around you. Are you surrounded by the best people? Are you surrounded by people who love you? Are you surrounded by people who reflect back to you that you are fantastic and fabulous? Leo is all about preening and feeling good and feeling celebrated and being on stage do you feel like you're celebrated when you get out in front of people and you're on stage do are there people clapping for you in your inner circle because it's the people that we have habitually around us that have the most impact and so I feel like this card is coming up really to help you see who in your life is helping you be the the best version of you and who in your life is pulling you down and I, I hate to bring that in but it's a card that came in for the reading I always trust what I get and so I feel like there is a way to turn this into something um, magical for you because you're magical and you deserve to be seen as magical by the people in your your sphere and have your fan club and have people really cheering you on and loving who you are and letting you know that like not keeping it a secret not absconding with not not noticing that you're fabulous but not wanting to tell you that but people who are really open about that you know this leo energy is bright noonday sun and in under the light of the sun everything grows and everything can be seen it's not like it's hidden it's not at nighttime it's not in the shadows it's not twilight so you want to really look at things from the perspective of the light of day um, one other thing I was just going to tell you let's see I think we have a full moon in Aquarius on the 16th sometimes I forget to mention the full moons and sometimes it's it's nice to know oh no it's on the it's actually on the 15th it's 22 degrees Aquarius and so just remember everything's a cycle the new moon is a time of planting seeds new beginnings and growth you grow things for that those two weeks and they come to fruition and you pick the fruit on the full moon and then you have a waning cycle for the next two weeks after the full moon so that's on the 15th and so um, it's really optimal to use the first couple of weeks of August right out of the gate to create those things, envision those, be in the possibility thinking, let your energy rise, let you as a being rise to a greater a greater height of who you are, just better feelings of you, and allow something, just watch what comes to fruition on the 15th, uh, especially with Jupiter coming direct. I think we're in for some pretty special moments this month. So that is our monthly forecast. It is general. If you would like a much more specific reading tailored exactly to you in a private reading, you can contact me. I always have my uh, information below at TamraChilds.com or 12listen.com. 
And I'm just, I want to know how your month turns out and how you're enjoying this beautiful, sunshiny energy. And I'm sending you so much love from my space to yours. Happy Leo to you. Happy Leo August. And I will see you next month. Bye-bye.